Hello gamers, I'm going to show you how to put glue on my characters because some people are wondering about how to do it, so let me show you all real quick. Um, For this I just made a sphere with a skin material on it, but you can do this on anything. So I'll just start by making a image node, image texture. Just make a new one, new texture. Make it 2K. All it. Just glue mask. And uh, make sure it's 32 bit and cubic and sublinear here. It's gonna make it so that the mask is not pixelated when you put it into the bump node, which I'm gonna have right now. Set a bump node, put the normal here, and uh, glue mask in the height. So, when you go in texture paint mode and you paint, you got some height information. The mask looks like this. Um. So next, I'm gonna make it so that, oh wait, let me uh, tweak this a little bit, it's a bit too intense, there you go, that's better. <clears throat> I'll do something so that uh, when you paint, like with lower opacity, things are a bit less visible they're not gonna get raised so that it only adds height values where it's really strong and the way that I do that is by using a float curve to just add a little bit of contrast to the mask I can just Move it down a little. Oh, like that. Next up, I'll make it so that uh, there's some colors on added on top of the base color. I'll use a layer weight. I use this node quite often. It's so good. It's like a Fresnel, but I like it more. Plug this real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in the color too. Basically, I'll make a mask uh, that makes it so that I can add color on the edge of the the glue. So I'll take the bump, put it the normal input now looks like this and uh, with the float curve I can tweak it make it like very stylized it's pretty sick can use this for so many things but I think I'll do something like this Pick to my mask and put it here in the factor. Just make this black. So then I'll have a mask. It only shows where there's a mask. Now 
and then I can just put this on top of the base color with another mix node. Put the base color on the warp first, and then put this mask here in the factor. So you see it has this on top of the base color and you can play with these but I usually go with like screen or like overlay and I want to add if you want to tweak it you just make it darker if you want to make it like less opaque Look this in a base color of the BSDF. Cool. Let me play with this a little. Maybe something like this would be better. Probably fine. There's this cool thing uh, with like RGB values. There's a, a value thing here, but you can make it go above one, even though the slider stops at one. Like if you just type in two, it doubles it. Sometimes when it's not bright enough, that's what I do, but I don't think I'll need it in this case. Uh, next stop, I'll add the roughness. So this is my base roughness texture, but I want to make it so that it's shiny where there's the glue mask. So I'll just make a mix RGB. I'll use the... Not the one that is after the flood curve, but the actual mask, I'll plug it into the roughness into the factor and this value here you can just multiply it but uh the darker you make it the more shiny it's gonna be like I can show it here let's just make it be this shiny Maybe a bit more So that's good. You can even do the same for uh, the metallicness. I don't have a metallic node, but I can just like a metallic texture. But I can just put the glue mask here. And then the the skin I want it to be dark, so that it's not metallic. And then the rest, just maybe make it white. Not that intense, but I'll tweak it just a little bit. Alright. Next thing I want to do is I want to make it so that uh, the normal map, like there's pores, and you can still see them here, even though like there's a lot of glue. <laughs> Earthquake water. Whatever you want to make. So I'm gonna make it so that wherever it's like really raised, it's gonna be flat. So the way to do that is uh, to mix it with a value. So like wherever it's uh, white on the mask. It's gonna be uh, on normal maps, the value that's like flat, pretty much like zero, or not zero, but like in the middle, is uh, 0 0.5 red, 0 0.5 green, and one blue. 
in this color. So it's kind of hard to see, but it's it's flat now where there's the glue. Let me try it. Oh, it's so the strength is very low. Yeah, look at this. Uh Next up, what I want to do is I want to add like some waviness to the glue. So what I can do is I can add some noise in between the glue mask and the float curve with a mix shader. So I'll do a noise texture and then mix RGB in the middle. I'll plug the noise into the actor and then mix RGB. I'll make it multiply so that when I go into, uh, I'll show you. This preview, everything that's darker. Gets like multiplied on top. So it's not strong enough, but I can fix it by adding a math node and setting it to multiply. More like that. So when I go in, I go back to the render mode. You'll see what I mean. It's pretty strong right now, but. Can I make it brighter if I don't want it as strong a roll? So another thing I can do is I can uh, add a little bit of distortion. It's gonna really help sell the material. The effect. So let's see. I have the bump here. So I can tweak this float curve. Man, it should be pretty good. See what this looks like. I usually play with these values depending on what material I'm trying to make. I don't like the fact that this is here. So I think I need to move this. Yeah. You can go here, tweak the roughness color a little bit. We want it more or less shiny. The bump is pretty strong. Tone it down. There, that's pretty good. So let's uh, let's try it. I'm gonna go in texture paint mode and just fill it
Oh, with the bucket here. Little fill bucket. Now let's try again. See what it looks like. It's pretty strong. This thing here, I can maybe turn it down. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's uh, can play with all the settings to uh, make it better, but that's pretty much how I do it. You can use like this little, little smudge, little smear brush that you can use, and just smear things around around the surface, follow like curvature. Maybe you want it. A bit more distorted. Can tweak this. Value in the noise. That's strength. Really helps. Here we go. I think that's that's done. I guess it wasn't that quick, but I think at the beginning I said it was gonna be a quick tutorial. But uh yeah, that's it. I hope it helps, uh See ya! <laughs>